Okay, so I get asked all the time, Taco, your car doesn't have a radiator. Well, that's kind of true, it's not true. So I built this gas tank here for the methanol, and it, and it fits in the uh, stock radiator uh, stirrups. Methanol burns actually cooler than gasoline, actually quite a bit. However, you got to burn two and a half times more methanol than you do gasoline. So it's the difference between like how much more heat does a campfire put out versus a welding torch. Well, the welding torch is going to be substantially hotter, but the campfire's got more heat. So that's why methanol engines make more power is because you're burning two and a half times more fuel. So it's a little bit cooler, but it's a lot more heat. So what I did, these are on right now, is I have two electric pumps wired in series, so it goes into one and then the other, comes in from the block here, here's the outlet, so this is this, and then this goes back to the expansion chamber here, you can see I've got it running, and it's being returned here, and then it's being sucked in at the bottom here, which goes back to this pump, and it goes through a radiator, uh, I don't know if you can see it, let's see. Ah, there's my radiator. See, there's my radiator that I made. And I put a little fan in front so I can turn the fan on. And this is really only need for a methanol motor right there. And then when these pumps ever go out, I'm going to get a Metzger one. Because they're so damn noisy. So anyway, that's, that's how the taco cooling system works. And then that just... Goes on like that. Pretty cool, huh? We're gonna fire it tomorrow. I got my gas bottle, I got my uh, taco sauce. If anybody's ever had an engine that was mechanical injection, you know that you have to prime it, especially when it hasn't been started for three years. So we'll squirt in the hat here. We'll squirt some fuel while somebody's cranking it over. We close it, and then what we do is we dribble just a little gas right here, and I'll tell them to hit the start switch, and it'll uh, it'll fire, hopefully. Now my only concern is, because it's been so long, this is my metering block, and as you can see, when you open and close it, it changes the amount of fuel. This fuel here is coming from the pump, which is down here. So that's the uh, high pressure pump, and it comes up here, and then it meters into this line here to the metering junction block. And each one of these has, uh, I guess you call it a pill, to squirt fuel in there. And then what it doesn't use, it comes back here. This is the low-speed bypass right here, and this is the high-speed bypass because pumps become more efficient at higher RPM. So. The engine actually becomes less efficient at high RPMs and the pump becomes more efficient. So what happens is you go dead rich on the top end. So that's why you uh, meter out the fuel. And if you ever wonder why an injected car idles, it goes go, rum, 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 rum. What happens is when the engine speeds up, it goes dead rich, which will slow it down. And then as it's slowing down, the pump will start cavitating, it'll go lean, and then which will make the engine speed up. So that's where you get that rum, rum, rum. All right, Taco School is out.